Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna demonstrate how to set a pressure-reducing valve in a hydraulic system, and helping us out is Danny Waters with Motion Industries, representing Eaton Vickers. How you doing, Danny? I'm doing great, Tom, how about you? I'm doing great. Now, this animal has been here before in another Motion Industries video, but we're doing something a little different today, so give us some background on the pressure-reducing valve. Okay. This is the pressure reducing valve that we will hook up today. It's a valve that's designed to take high pressure from one part of the system, mm -hmm. reduce it to a lower pressure in another part of the system. Explain to me what we've got going on here so far, but before we do that, we have to make sure we put on our PPE. Everybody has to do that. Whatever the job calls for, make sure you're wearing it. Um, so now that I got it on, tell me what kind of hoses have we got set up so far? And what we have already is the pressure line from the manifold to the directional control valve. Okay. The tank line from the directional control valve back to tank. Okay. And then we have the A and B lines to the horizontal cylinder. I'll turn the unit on, and if you'll shift the valve, you'll see the hydraulic, the horizontal cylinder operate. Here we go. <laughs> see what kind of pressure we got coming up here? Uh, right at 400. That's the pressure we'll be using today on the horizontal cylinder. Okay. okay. Retract the cylinder. I'll turn the unit off. So what's next? Now we've got a few more hoses to connect, right? Okay, to start with, grab this hose, if you will. Hook your end to the A port on the directional valve. All right. I will go to the N port of the pressure reducing valve. All good. What's next? Next hose, A, uh, the B port of the directional control valve. All right, and my, my end will go to the rod end of the cylinder. Gotcha. Okay. Then there's a short one here I can do by myself. All right. From the out port of the pressure reducing valve to the blind end of the cylinder. All right, is that gonna finish it? Are we complete? One more hose. All right. Okay, this is the drain hose. I'm gonna hook the drain to the valve. Right. If you will hook it to the manifold. To the manifold, okay. Okay, it's all hooked up. We can fire it up? We're ready, let's fire it up. Here we go. Okay, now shift your valve. We got both of those going out now. Okay, they're fully extended. Okay, both cylinders have deadheaded. Then take a look at the high pressure. Still got 400. Still at 400. Okay, so by adjusting the pressure reducing valve, I will be able to change the pressure on this gauge to a lower pressure. So I'll adjust it to 200 PSI, and there we have it. Okay. And we're good to go. We are. Okay, we'll retract, retract the that. cylinders, turn the unit off. And we got it. Danny, thank you so yeah, much. My we pleasure. appreciate it. All right. Danny Waters representing Eaton Vickers. Danny, of course, is with Motion Industries. And if you have any questions whatsoever on what you just saw, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And as you noticed, I wore my PPE during the demonstration. Make sure you wear the proper PPE for whatever you're doing. And also make sure to check out other Motion Industries how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.